is perfect. Machu Lucapera from Nkatabe will be right here. Hey guys, welcome back to the Oven. This is episode 3. You're with me, your girl, Hope. Yeah, on this episode, we're bringing you like um, Kim of Diamonds and Celeb Connect. Um, Mike Mesh, he covered KBG's show where he was launching his album and we're going to have KBG as our guest in the oven one, in one of these episodes one day so keep connected so that you cannot miss it yeah and we're having girl talk with B and Promise where they're talking about um, HIV and death and contraceptives and lastly we're bringing you Phil K with news and Cubic Fresh heatwave of creativity stay connected do you know what you're doing to me? So like, can you briefly introduce yourself? Let the people know you, your fans out there. Okay. Uh, my name is Kim, aka Kim of Diamonds. My real name actually is Kimberly with an E before the Y. And E, I have to ask you pretty. We have people sending me, hi Kimberly, with no E. E before the Y, Kimberly Kaunda. And I'm a singer, songwriter, and that's my passion. That's how people know me. Great. Yeah. So like, can you explain your musical background? Like, how did right. you start? For me, it was more of, I started singing when I was 10, 10 years old, and then it was bad, it was crap, you know, and there was a long way to go. But then I was very encouraged by listening to other artists, Craig David, Destiny's Child, and stuff like that. And then from there, it was church, became part of the church choir, yeah. Went there, I was so doubtful to do it, but I was just like, fine, I'll do it. They're like, oh, come on, Kim, you should do it. So that encouragement got me in the church choir. After that, then I became a prison worship leader, so that forced me out of my comfort zone again. And then I moved back to Malawi in 2013, and then my brother was like, yo, let's go to the studio. So like, where were you back then? I was um, in Zimbabwe, then in the UK, then back home here, yeah, Malawi. Yeah, so in 2013, my brother was like, yo, let's go to the studio, and I was like, what? What do you mean? Was that the, like the first time? Yeah, it was my first, like, no, it wasn't like the first time in the studio, because I was doing songs as well with some friends in the UK, you know? But then, when I came back here, I didn't have any intention of like pursuing music, music in Malawi. You know, I just came here to do school. That was the plan. So my brother was like, "Yo, let's just hit the studio, Malawi studio." Mm. That's when I was like, uh, "Okay, fine." And then you I recorded. Guess. Yeah, then we recorded. He wrote the entire song. Um, it was, I think it was a Chichewa song or something. Yeah. So before you know it, we did my first album, Freedom, yeah. which has like 17 songs. And then after that, we did the revolution, and then we did King of Diamonds last year. So it's been a journey. I would say officially, professionally doing music since 2013, and it's been a journey of growth, releasing albums, singles, people not knowing who you are, yeah. you know. And that's for me, that's perfectly fine. Just watching fine, those though. videos, you those little clips, <laughs> yeah, little something. Like who something. is this? One? Yeah. The first time I got to know you was uh, in the See You Cipher. Right. Like, who is this one? Then I had to go on Facebook and I was like, whoa, she has more than talent. Yeah. And here you are doing stopped me. very, yeah, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Since 2013, who like inspired you? Who inspired me. Yeah. Um, Beyonce. Oh. <laughs> Queen B. <laughs> Queen B, that's just like everything. For me, literally, I, I love the empire that she built for herself, you know. I love that she took the time to you know, experiment with her sounds. Remember at the start of her career, she used to sing super high and stuff like that. And then towards at this stage that she's at, she's singing more on the low end of things. She's very comfortable and sounds, still sounds amazing, you know? 
But then looking at Beyonce and looking at what you've just told us, yeah, seems like it's the same thing because I hope so. In church, she's a billionaire. Yeah. Okay, the aim then, is to be a billionaire. With the this. aim is to make money. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, because I know once you're able to be financially stable, then you can help other causes that you're passionate about without having to say, "I'm looking for a sponsor. Yeah. I'm looking for aid." Like that's for me. That's the whole point of becoming wealthy and financially stable to be able to not only pursue your own dreams but to also help other people to show pursue their dreams yeah, yeah. you know for what my brother did for me helping me in my in, to start my music and giving me a vision when i didn't really see that vision for myself i want to do the same for other young people yeah, out people there who are super up. talented yeah. but they don't have the platform or they sit back and they think man i don't have what it takes to really do I it because do of this. money do you yeah, know what i mean because yeah. it takes a lot of money yeah. so yeah i really look up to beyonce what she's built and her work ethic and just her whole authenticity she she is herself she de- she defines the boundaries that she wants to take with her fans with business with um the creative direction of her work as well you know i like what she's doing and at the same time she has these foundations where she gives scholarships to people you know i love that honestly so i look at her and i think i'd like to do that in my own way obviously and in Malawi, in Malawi you know and in Africa yeah I want that right so like what's your primary genre my primary genre I've seen you rap I've seen you do dance moves and reggae and you sing a lot yeah um, it's, it's a hard question but it's gotten easier to answer lately because I found myself gravitating towards like R&B Afro R&B more like I wouldn't say I'm Afro pop Nah, I don't know. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm Afro pop. I'm more on the Afro R&B side of things. I would put myself in that box. Actually, no, I wouldn't put myself in that box. I don't like to put myself in boxes. <laughs> right. So like, I don't. But I'd say I lean more to the Afro R&B sound. If you're gonna class me, I like my guitar. Yeah. And I like a certain vibe to the chords that I'm selecting. You know. So is it like you play? an instrument like a guitar i used to, to use uh but laziness took over something i still keep saying i need to take that back again I so start. yeah i want to start again <laughs> but i used to play guitar and my dad plays amazing guitar so i guess i don't know I feel, I feel like that. my music really i would say i i it's not just about i make music just to empower girls because at the end of the day like we're humans you know what i mean we're humans first before we're anything else and so i try to put a message of self love and self empowerment in my songs i want to empower the girl i want to empower the boy i want to empower the woman and the man as well you know because if the whole of us as a society as different gender, genders you know if we feel good about ourselves then we can function better but if i just decide to say Oh I just do songs for girls that's one putting myself in a box and I'm an artist I like to challenge myself I like to be challenged things. yeah nice. I like to try different things and I want to talk about life and life doesn't say life is limited to girls or to this topic or to this cause life is everything one minute you might find me singing singing about girl empowerment the next minute I'll be singing about what um keeping the environment clean the next i might be singing about dancing in the club yeah. the next i'm in love the next i'm heartbroken the next i'm hating on someone in the songs but all those songs are there to just capture an emotion and to be able to relate to people and also share other people's stories and make them feel like they're not alone because mm. i feel like too many times we feel like i'm alone in the situation and then you feel bad for feeling like you're the only one who feels maybe envious or jealous or angry or in love or whatever but if you hear it from someone else singing about it you can relate and you feel not alone yeah and yeah. it really makes sense cuz looking at our generation we have a lot of depressed people yes. you just hear very adult yeah see pop what what and like you go like what but then when you make more music mm. talking about positive music and then yeah. yeah what you're saying people you can more get like encouraged. you talk to, to you talk to it number of people yeah with one song yeah and thumbs up for that Thank keep you. on doing Thank keep you. on making more good music Thank you very much. Right. hardcore is it part of kim of diamonds the album or was just the single that you released um hot girl is just the single that we dropped 
first January of 2018. Okay. So yeah, it's a single KLD separate. It came out last year in August. Since then, I've been just dropping singles as well. Just this year, just to carry on yeah, building on my brand and stuff like that. Yeah. So like, was it, the album was it for free or you were like selling it? It was for free. It's free from my website because you know in Malawi we're slowly progressing towards being able to buy music online. Online. Yeah. I think um, shout out to Urban Malawi. They have a website that you know is heading towards allowing artists and producers to be able to sell their stuff. And so I saw you perform at Lake of Stars. Right. Sharing the stage with Sour to Soul, Major Lazar. Yeah. How was the feeling like? It was, it was nice. I, man, watching them was great. <laughs> watching like, them was damn. so amazing, honestly, because I remember Sour to Soul being on stage. I was just like, wow. And then Major Laser came on and then the sandstorm thingy happened and stuff. But it was a great, great experience because I was on the Saturday and that was like the the, the, the most important day like the, of the festival. Like you, you have know? most of the people around. Most of the people around. Yeah. So it really meant a lot for me in my head because of the doors that it opened. I got to speak with other other artists as well, got to speak with other media platforms from other countries as well. Yeah. So. All those experience, the entire experience of Lake of Stars to me last year, sharing the stage with Saudi Soul, Major Lazer, Faith Musa, who else? Um, Berita Soul, B Charlotte. It was just amazing because you really immerse yourself in other people's arts and you get to see what you can also work on as an artist. There's just that whole exchange of things, you know. Also, making friends. I got to make a new friend. Like, um, what are the struggles? Right. Your music journey. My music journey, I think one of the biggest struggles you find like as a musician is the finance side of things. Because you know your projects need money. Yeah. You need money for photo shoots, you need money for music videos, you need money for promo, advertising, marketing. Yeah. You also need money for what else? The team. The team. When especially if you have a band, you know. Yeah. I have like a six man band, you know. So like so, most of the times you're performing live. Live. So that means, you know, you need pay to pay each one of them and I don't want to just pay them peanuts as well and then you have people when you quote them a certain price they want to negotiate you down but it's like yo I'm trying to run a business as well here you know so on the money side of things I think that's the biggest challenge for an artist but if you can find yourself sponsors not like sugar daddy or sugar daddy <laughs> oh that is a blesser <laughs> no but I've, I've heard each is like uh, that girl, that producer, Jack, yeah, they have issues, you know, the, what, what. There are different like, uh, stories like that, you know. Boys, are you taking advantage of the girls? Yeah, that tends to happen as well, you know, because most of the times as well, we, we the music industry is male dominated yeah, here in Malawi true. for the time being, yeah. you know, so that's slowly changing. But until then, it's like you have to find ways of making legit money and making a hustle legit. Yeah, yeah, so music, apart from music, uh, one of the other challenges you might face is people always having something to say about your music. Yo, you should be doing this. Why don't you do this? I like it better when you do this. But for me, it's like the whole journey of being an artist is to discover yourself, like to you need explore to yourself. yourself. First. Exactly. So part of you doing all these other genres is part of you knowing yourself and discovering yourself and knowing which direction you want to take. You know, you can't just land and it's perfect from the start. That's boring. Right. You know, you want to go through the whole journey of, hmm, I like R&B, but mm, maybe I'm more to pop. Yeah, because you know, fans will say a lot of things. Like, they will. Okay, we want you to do rap but on. Stick to rap. Ow, oh, rapping, you know. Yeah, stick to this, stick to that. But it's like, no, it's a journey. And as a young artist, it, you can get discouraged from people's comments, especially on the internet. Don't pay attention to people's comments on the internet. Don't do it. You will cut your dream short. So, yeah, I would just say you have to know that you're an artist. Perfection is not key. What you want to do is embrace your own personal journey so that, you know, when you really are authentic in your art, it feels different when people listen to it. Right. What else do you do apart from music? Apart from music? Yeah. Um, I write for an online platform called storiesnow.co. And what else do I do? I'm trying to start my own businesses. Yeah. Trying to hustle, trying to get in there. What else do I do? I am currently a community manager for an organization called Nivac, who are looking to empower young women through music. Well, mostly young women, but it's open to male and female. Through music workshops, we're going to be having music workshops in November. At the time, 
the video is out there. I know we always have our African parents telling us, school first, you know, oh, you want to do music, but school first. They do have a great point because at the end of the day, education gives you an edge, you know, and I studied business administration at the Catholic University of Malawi and it the best course in the world. Yeah, okay. You can quote me on that, right? Yeah, <laughs> the best course in the world. And so it was a challenge because deep in your heart you'd rather spend the entire day writing songs and just doing music. But on the other hand, you also have to get that degree that education, you know, so that you have a good, you know, platform to leverage. People don't just approach you anyhow. You say, I'm not just an artist, man, I hold a degree in business administration. But also, when people start chatting to you about business, you also know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. You can negotiate, you yeah. can tell that this contract or this deal is just off. Or that these, they, you know, this amount of money does not add up because at the end of the day, education opens your mind to how the world works. That's and true. then when you can understand how the world works, you can figure out how you can infiltrate through certain corridors or pathways to get to where you want to go. Yeah. So I feel like it's very important for you to to not just be all about music, but get that education. And education is not just a degree. Right. You know, it's reading in your own spare time i have to add this education is you know paying attention to the details what's happening around you all of that stuff yeah right. makes you a more rounded artist yeah uh, what can you tell now those girls in the university mm -hmm. trying to cope up with the lifestyle you know a lot of things happen in the uni yeah was, and yeah. and you've been there you've passed through it figure about nobody you're done with it what can you say to them issues like my blesser there are issues like people get drunk and do some stupid stuff mm -hmm. why can you tell those girls out there even the boys as well right i think during the time in uni you know it's it's the excitement of being around people your age you know it's just, right everywhere. Uh, it's wild <laughs> it is a wild but it's so important for you to know that you have to strike a balance the very same friends you're taking shots with they're not going to be there in the exam room they're not going to be there two years later five years later when you are really out in the real world and now you're trying to make a living so when you're in university it's important for you to enjoy the whole experience relax enjoy it but also set boundaries for yourself you know you need to be able to say i'm not gonna go out this weekend you need to be able to say i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that not just succumb to any kind of peer pressure because at the end of the day your life is your life your parents are paying fees yeah. or your guardians you don't know what they're going through to make sure you yeah. are in school yeah. and you have food and you know all that so you have to sort of show your thanks by really performing and blessings blessings will be there but you, you don't need blessings, okay? No time for boys. You don't need blessings. <laughs> to me, the way, that I, the way that I see it is like, it's not easy because you, as a girl, especially when you're a girl, you have needs, man. You need pads, you need, um, you need soap, you need, you want to look Makeup, good. You know, you want to look nice great. Foods. Oh, you know, so you look at other people and you're like, I want to be like that. But the pressure can be real true. But I would say don't dwell too much on i wish i was like so and so or like i had this be try yourself. to live within your means and be yourself yeah. being yourself will take you further than trying to emulate people who look successful because per tables do turn so people who are doing good in uni right now doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna do good after uni that's why it's important for you to focus you might be struggling in uni right now you know you might be the most blacked up person you're not the most trip trip person but after if you focus you get your grades you think smart you hustle you can take yourself to the top so yeah hey. stay focus i say so much oh my god <laughs> so like what's coming up what's your vision next three five years music wise yours came your lifestyle mm, huh. that's such a that's a hard question big question it's a big question um overall maybe in the next three to five years i want to win a grammy from Malawi. Yeah, from Malawi. Representing. Yeah, I've already the rehearsed my speech. Boy representing yeah. ah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already rehearsed my grammar speech. But, <laughs> but uh, in the next thing... So the I next, can't get a chance to rap music. You know? I claim this award in the name of the Lord. Yeah, <laughs> it's a rap. <laughs> um, I don't know. In the next three to five years, I want... I want to grow my brand even more authentically and also my bank account, of course. 
and um, also to I have a scholarship that I really want to take off the ground I want to help other young people complete school and just be more involved in personal projects and also projects to do with the community and the global music industry right. yeah okay so like the first question was are you single I am single and ready to remember <laughs> <laughs> another question some guy asked was mm-hmm. like I've seen Kim, she's an ambassador booster, mm-hmm. and at the same time, I'm a bank empowerment goes. Mm-hmm. Is, isn't it like she's compromising things? Really, bank is more, and then kind of work hard, work hard. <laughs> yeah, for me, at the end of the day, life is for living, you know, and I do not want to represent to create a brand that, again, in a box, to say no. And, you know, stay in school. Yes, stay in school. Yes, get educated. But at the end of the day, life is for living. You know, you will reach a point in your life when you want to drink as a young person. You know, when you're at that age where you can drink freely. At that point, then you are supposed to drink responsibly. So by me representing both these things, it's not for me. It's not contradictory because life is for living and. Also, in a way, I'm showing that <clears throat> I get to decide what I do with my life. I'm a grown-ass woman, you know, and I get to determine which direction I want to do. But also, in this day and age, you can't really relate to a lot of people if you put yourself in a box. You know what I mean? If you try to be perfect, there is no such thing as perfection. You know? Nobody is perfect. And drinking alcohol or whatever, you know, it's people's personal choices. It doesn't make you imperfect. Yeah. But it just means you have to do, make decisions responsibly. So yeah. I don't know. For right. me, it's not contradictory. Right. I'm just living. My bad, my bad. So this is all we have for you on the show. Thank you. So for like me. any other words you have for your fans, people following you mm-hmm. on social media, the Oven fans, right. and just give us like your social, your social media handles for. Okay. So let's start with my social media handles at Kim of Diamonds on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, YouTube as well. Check me out, follow me, like, comment, share, all of that. But my final words to you guys is thank you so much for supporting my music. It is not easy, but you, your feedback, your energy makes it even more worth it, you know. And if you have your own personal dreams, it doesn't have to be just in music. It could be in starting businesses. It could be. In a bunch of other areas, you know, you stay focused on that. I encourage you to stay focused on it. Work hard. Don't do no shortcuts. Pay attention and just keep going and enjoy life at the same time. If if they follow, you follow back. Yeah, if, if you follow, or I you follow check back. The... If you follow, I follow back. Um, but if you come at me with some strange energy of like trying to hit on me, man. <laughs>
gave my heart to you. I gave my heart some extra stuff. I gave my heart to you on the premise that you would love me back. We here fighting about nothing. You said that I should leave to call me back again. Maybe it's time to walk away. When my back's against the walls, should have been told there's nothing more. All that we did was just a sugar rush, just give me time. I'll be just fine, I'll be just fine. In the morning time, I'll be just fine. Just give me time, I'll be just fine. I gave my heart to you on the premise that you will love me back. We're here fighting about nothing. You said that I should leave and call me back again. Yeah. Maybe it's time to walk away. Better this way when my back's against the walls. Should have been told there's nothing more. All that we did was just to sugar us. Just give me time. I'll be just fine. I'll be just fine. In the morning time, I'll be just fine. Just give me time. I'll be just fine in the morning time. I'll be just fine. Just give me time. I'll be just fine in the morning time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's almost a wrap. Hey guys, this is B, and I welcome you back to the Girl Talk section. And with me, I have Promise, and she is going to be helping me out on the Girl Talk section about various topics. And today, we're going to talk about HIV, sexually transmitted infections, and contraceptive pills. Okay, so studies have shown that 89% of students in universities are inducting themselves into unsafe sex. So today's topic, we want to basically just try to help out the students that cannot stay away or just basically abstain so for those that don't abstain we just want to um aware and sensitize that hiv is real it is there and you can get it so if you know that you have you just had unprotected sex or anything you shouldn't be shy about reaching out to a counselor or going to the doctor you don't have to be shy about such issues exactly and you if you know that you have been at risk of contracting like HIV or anything like that always remember that there's PEP but do not use PEP as an alternative to have like unprotected sex all the times like makaburi oh kuni PEP let's do this kuni PEP because it's not always 100% effective I mean the body can get immune to such things and you can still get HIV but then the problem is most people when they go to the hospital they usually just concentrate on getting an HIV test they forget most times we forget that they're sexually transmitted infections or diseases although hiv is one of them but we forget that less of like gonorrhea and alike that's the one that came to our mind but we usually forget stis so when we go to the hospital let's make sure to get tested for hiv and stis and if you keep hiding such infections it might help it might lead to other problems in the future for example infertility and stuff like that so if you know that you had unprotected sex and you think that you have any other infections you should just rush to the hospital and get it solved and there are a lot of ways how you can actually just help yourself to know the symptoms or signs of stis or hiv so that you have an upper hand of knowing do i have this disease or not instead of just sitting down and sharing and giving to other people so an advice to all the girls out there is that you shouldn't have sex because other people are having it. You have to have sex when you know that you're ready to do the thing. Or you have an impression by your boyfriend or just the pressure of university generally. If you know you're not ready, keep yourself. And as the Bible said, 
just keep yourself to marriage don't be embarrassed to do that it's okay but then the other problem is nowadays i have noticed that people usually have unprotected sex and the only thing that i'm afraid of is just getting hiv or getting pregnant because they rush to emergency pills or plan b for those who do not know emergency pills or plan b's these are um, pills that you take after being at risk of getting pregnant but then emergency pills are called emergency pills for a reason they are for emergencies, serious emergencies. Do not use them continuously because emergency pills is usually the one pill, and in that one pill, those are eight pills contained into one, meaning that it has a high, a high amount of chemicals in them, and they're just generally not good. <laughs> and apparently, studies have shown that you can actually contract cancer because of emergency pills because it just have a large, a huge amount of chemicals. It can also lead to what infertility because sometimes when you take the pills there are some clusters that are formed in the uterus that can actually um, restrain you from getting pregnant so girls do not use emergency pills as a method of just being being protective all the time in other so, words maybe we should just use condoms exactly <laughs> just condoms basically <laughs> so yeah so this is guys you have been with me b and promise so girls, remember HIV is there, STIs are there, let's just try to abstain or condomize. So welcome back to The Oven and today we are Trendsetter album launch and with me here is Miko, one of the guys behind Zaluso Art. So I'm here, he will talk more about it. Today, little audience of Ubanga Zodani here at Trendsetter album launch. Like extreme move about Zaluso and what you're doing today at Trendsetter album launch. All right, uh, Zaluso Art is an art collective, a visual arts company, as well as a creative hub. Uh, we're here at Trendsetter to support our boy KBG and wear live printed t shirts. So, we've got a booth over here where you come through with your design, you give us 5,000 quacha only, and in 20 minutes, you get your t shirt. Yeah. So like apart from uh, printing the t-shirts, what, what what else do you do you guys do? Ah, we do all things visual arts. So we're uh, your one-stop shop for uh, visual arts things. We do murals, we sell paintings, we make paintings, we uh, do art events, workshops. Yeah, pretty much everything art-related. That's that's what we're about. Yeah. Alright, is it like you get people from out there, or it's like a group of? A certain people that do the, the all the stuff you're talking about. So, like I said, it's a collective. Yeah. So they are, we do have a core team of artists. Who are, you know, at our at our space in Air Force Seven Sector Three, one six six. And on top of that, we have a community of artists throughout the entire country, and we also collaborate with people outside of the country on specific art projects. So it depends on what we're actually working on, and then we see how best to, to put the team together to take on that project to hand yeah all right okay. uh you can check us out on all social media uh platforms at zaluso arts uh that's soundcloud facebook instagram twitter our uh, website's currently down but it's up it's zaluso arts.com uh what's on youtube that's zaluso arts yeah so hashtag zaluso arts you might find something cool yeah, so I'm also support the homie KBG. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, I also come with the uh, with the lights, the light setup for right. so this event. So, yeah, so you you provide lights for events yeah, as well. So I have a big stage light. Alright. So like, uh, how can people find you? Goody, Mina, so now for now, Goody, they should have such type of a setup. Instagram, WhatsApp. Yeah. Alright, cool. Zero, but nine twenty eight one one. Right. Give me a case where I do know the comp, so make a business. Alright. Trendsetter experience, I say. But I'm zero nine. My performance was fine. Yeah. I'm zero nine with the KPG. I believe you with the. I'm zero nine with the KPG. You're not the only one. Ah, yeah, mas. You're the only one. Come on, yeah. Come on, I, I know it. I listen to the album, so I know really the album is fine. Yeah. So, enough with the trend said, uh, low music buys, what should we expect? Because that's what I know. So, tell the people yeah, what should they right. expect. Yeah, hey, I say, music is in there. Check it, you know, just think you want to work where. Okay. What's the other thing that was? After you know, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, so there is. Um, there are still projects that are coming. Right. Projects are bow up bow and I but I believe we don't have that that's good. Yeah. Those ones will be gonna release before the end of the year. Uh, my guy.
Yeah, yeah, crazy right there, man. Yeah. Where they found the trendsetter express, man. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> if that was a boss of sound, they would not go with my soul. And then I get one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just came to support the brother um, KBG uh, dropping this uh, album called Trendsetter Bass. I've come to feel the experience. D Max, I see. Yes. I don't think there's a master. Big money again. No, the Trendsetter KBG. Okay. I don't know, Spray Smiley. Yeah. Right? So I understand you also do the art, is it? My poem, in Chinese. What you're cooking? Are you, are you performing? So yeah, I'm still a trendsetter experience and with me is Prez Umali. I say we was that I need to know that. I'm here to share my talent, my music. Yeah, yeah performing, yeah? Yeah, performing. Yeah. So is it like, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Shipping them like it's the right thing. Them not know the real king is what they don't see. Hey, I think this a day he woke. Hey, na banka ni zamu yende mi koko. Hey, sali ka di church yo 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 yo. I woke up kani zamu yende di a yo yo. Hey, I think number one original. Hey, ka kuma na na wo so ka fune sikilo. Ma fana a piece of zamu ya ni messi ni no. So ngalo wa kuma bo pa ya ni wo. So ngalo wa kuma ba a se wo pa ya ni wo. Welcome ladies and gentlemen in the news section with me Phil K. Remember this is the oven. Now let's go straight to the serious business. The Nzuzu University Twenty First Congregation will be held on 16th of December 2019 as planned by management. So venue the mini Nzuzu University grounds. Ashina madanza to kubanga graduate. Adamari zama kuzro au kulendra masamba au abamamba ad. 
degree for 6 December 2019. So, this is a point you need to take out to Abubanga graduates. 2019 Zuzu University Social Weekend is coming right on 6 December again. So, this week is just about one baby, right? 6 December, Friday, many roll We have to social weekend, we have 7. From the good news is, Machuru Kapela from Nkatabe will be right here on 7th of December 2019. So, once I tell you, I want to 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 tell you, I want Weekend, watch out. Kafuku for win, I want a saguti, a basukuria, a change, a yan zuzu, a soy nandi two, o bangiri, o kondo, nika samandu, kamalo ena, o kalamo, o prince via comanso, maro ena, o stenzanga, the toilet, comanso, ma bafa, ni masinki. So, is is u perega job chesoqua, o prince la putimina, a cosa, o pesi, o di arimafudo, o o guacamba, kamatenda, o sanasiana, kamba, so, o kondo, ba muzipinda, so kalamo, comanso, zo prince vidamo. A ena mamalo. And my toilet, my sink, my manso, my bafa. The men who saw or called the one mini poches have only opens the women and our cousins only in honey. Ya, who saw all condogo and at semi is like if you're in a good day, uh, Nusa Samala Jabe, comma students, opens our school, you could be a tanking at the good in the window, up and honey or some of the dancing in the Socalamo, the Maro Eno Senasiana. There is an increment of theft and the burglary at the Zuzu University. Most in the one Zuzu, my intellectuals, Agobela na wambili, kucholi la na malumu, kucholi la na nitu, malo o gona mundo sungi la kabundo, kuba ma laptop, kunde ma phone. So, is is one of the good things that you can go and na guli da guli la and wambili guli la almost every day. E na wambili na off campus, e on campus wambili da so. Zikupene kaji wapishezo kwa ama students ambidi ya mena kukala malo amene ama uh, malo amu campus kumansu ku off campus Simadina ngati ama rooms ngati aku chai ma hostel achai nora kandaha kuma quarters ni konsekwansu ku off campus kwa buga umbanda nde umbava So, ashitetezo a security license anzusu university kumansu inu abolisi agupemba ana school kuti atandi zeni eh, maga maga kumbani ya ashitetezo fwa ena agupangi wa ataki usiku emene kuti mapatronize Zanu aja ma vagabond Uti kozo gila nanu nchito kude Ntuwamene wa ajipuwa nguwe ovla zana skulu Owebe lana skulu Ate po ate kucheba Nditu ziteretu pano panzozo University ndi madira ena ozo ngulida Nzozo University 28 October 2019 Disciplinary hearing is still in progress At the Chachonda Lodge In the city of Nzozo So anzatu aja ana ganizilo kude Ana chitrabo Ana kitrabo nchito Pangani ama demonstrations Ada gamba bimbali ya wakuti Apeleke shigamolo kwa iyo So, we could be updated Pangani tutu kutakita ngani mene ama demonstrations Kodi inamba mganchi Ana misa nindani Nanga who are the culprits Of the demonstrations Now, let's go straight to entertainment music Ngani zansa nguto Zikuti panji Pa groundi Gwamba Gwambizo is about to launch A new album entitled Mama Said God First at golf club in the city of Lilongwe on 21st of December 2019. Guamizo on the hit. We are making history because Mama said God of faith. Chani, 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 goma. For the first time in the history of gospel hip hop music here in Malawi, Moto Guzaya Kakuti Boom. Barilongwe Golf Club on 21 December 2019 from 10 a.m. Introducing the man Guamba. Supported by Onesmas, Fred Okis, Kelly K, Praise Peterson, Simon and Kendo, the Great Angels Choir, the Classics, and Lawi. 500 kwacha kwa onse wazaloa Isa na wane 12 kologo Ndipo 1000 kwacha After 12 p.m. You can't afford to miss this one It's
Another new song from A Level featuring Manzo Openga entitled Unga Nigireweo. Okay, so will be dropped soon. Akala ditu awe bonya posa chuda ba ya pshaga le kumakungo konsa suri stato kuti chikale chodi shiri wethe for the uh, public consumption. So ikala kwa posa bomba no city kuzo kuti kodi ndi DC kwenza DC ya Jason Mr Ronaldo amina ali mo uh, season two episode one inja city kuzio. So ti kala ditu kupanga sone zizi tuti zawa ni kuti kodi wanza ni sodan elevo mo new track ya unga nigere iweyo featuring Manzo Openga. Another news on our days is uh, about Mike Marsh who is about to drop another new hit. So the Mike Marsh it is a credit with this even got premiere pump and about the oven could go the area of the Sudan in front of gospel. Mamu Zwagari Mike Marsh on a new hit. This is a number of Ghani Zansanguru Tsubanji Phil K with another new hit. Am I in condo? The freedom fighting hit watch out in the oven now it's gossip so man's working hand is a gossip gossip is gossip so let me take you back what you did not use any and see that we know i get on intellectual yellow come out with the number of gang cars and then so that with other abilities of us that it's a few months at dinner moon on oven which is if you would go the i'm not going to sit down to the cousin of tea i'm not the other Ama atenga mapada jandu kumasunga mupido Kwa mtali ya itali Meshadu wanga kudago kuti kodi chuku nunga ndijani Murumu unomu Kwa masi ndikila kuti ndi mapadi Too late Yanko Ndi masunga zimenezi Kwa ndi nazolo ila watu Ndi mapanga mote Ndi mtu Ama angila Sika na mene yu Amene zina kisikinga mchule For the security reasons Kwa masu aga gulanya ama Ok Ngaza wendu wada kuisa wangi Aga gulanya ama Juna wanga ya masunga nyama For two days Three days Kena ko ama za ipika, ikutruza fungo Ya people, ikutruza fungo loi kwa kambini Mwantu ndi umaja Wada beza kantu ma uniti ama gesi kuhosto wagi Ama gabaso nda ama za ma uniti zo Ndi kungamba li siti Kureta umaji sisi Ndi kungamba li siti Anzaka saone Ndi tika nwada kuisa We are still following this So mwanga magaye Minezi mwaka lila mugosi So mwanga intellectual Mwantu opunzi ya kachenje ni wapa nzusu university Sidi kwenye na kumawa kukaranga ya mpina kuti Sidi kuziwa kuti Zota di raza kusakala mpua kondo Ndi kuja zintu zola Ndi chani Tenti samaneni tanzatu Tizi iti tika kusantino wabali Ndi kukataya Tizi chwa nisajono ngega Ndi kukataya Kwa sasa sunga sinzono ngega marumu Tisa nongo kwa watu ndife Opunza pa susu mpresi te Timalize mino Ok So tika maliza Mwina tika kipina kujako Tisa kata pachita mafuzo Atu kwenye kwenye Kwa nao Let's maintain this motive Tiende tu kwenye kwenye Pangani ukuba ilu guys Tizile lana pa kampas Mwabi lana ma guest We are all intellectuals Wakutu mwaka hini tisa 2000 Nika mkule ni mwenisa 2P Nisa mwete ni tosefe No punzi la palili ya mwena kukina nishito We are all students So this marks the end of our news in this episode You've been with me, Phil K See you in the next episode Have a blessed week Goodbye